Hello guys, this is Saja. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you Lion Renderer and Fire Renderer of Unity. Okay, I will show you some particular example that is the yellow like example in Fire Renderer. But I cannot show you the real world example in Lion Renderer because I have not used this feature in this game but I will show you practical I will I will do it in practical and I will explain you that before that these two futures uses the same algorithm to render okay let us start the line render okay I, I, to create a line render we have to create an empty object go to game create empty okay after creating the empty object go to component miscellaneous click line render okay if you see there is nothing has been changed for the empty object you can see some plane has been created over there okay why the plane as is created in that point why it is not created over here because the game object is here okay to make the line render to move to the game object that is the empty object local position you have to disable the use world space okay if you disable the use world space the line render will move towards the local position of the game object okay what is the use world space if you enable it, the object's position is ignored and the lines are rendered around the world origin. Okay, that is, if you enable it, the, the lion render will be drawn around the object, around the world origin. Okay. And next I will explain you some features, something about the options which are there in the inspector of the line render okay cast shadow if you enable this the line render will cast shadow in the unity world this use shadows if you enable this option the line render will receive shadow from the unity world okay the material slots that is the size indicates the number of material to be used for the line render you can keep the or I can keep n number of materials okay I'm going to use only one okay the first material from the list is used to render the line okay the first material will be used to render the line what is the position okay an array of vector 3 point to connect okay the other default the unity will create two elements for you that is the size will be 2 if you increase the size the elements will be increased okay let us keep it as three okay i'll move the exposition of the element third element okay there are three in elements are there in this line render okay they are independent of each other you can adjust the x y z position of each segment of the line render that is this is the first segment this is the second segment and this is the third segment okay it is independent of each other but it will be continuous you cannot break the connection between the elements if you want more than two or three that is more than one line render you must use more than one object Okay, that is if you want the line renderer in your scene then you have to use three object to create the line renderer a single object does not emit two line renderer so please be careful in that okay what does the start with a person start with a person the width of the starting segment okay. if you increase it you can see what's happening right now if you 
the n width represent the width of the n segment okay you can see in practical okay you can see that and the stored color represent the color of the stored segment and the n color represent the color of the n segment okay let us i will go and apply a material for this so that you can see it well yeah you can see now the line and the material is applied for it if i change the color of the line and the, that is starting color you can see the starting element is color is changed okay if you change the color of the end color the ending element will be changed ending color element will be changed okay you can also adjust the opacity of the elements by reducing the a value the a value indicates the alpha value of the segment if you decrease it you can see the the last element that is the end color will be will have zero alpha value okay i don't want this right now okay uh, okay where we can use the line render the line render are good to use for fx when you need to lay out all the vertex in one frame okay the line renderer seems to be rotated along with the camera position that is if you rotate the camera the line renderer will update its plane according to the camera position this is intentional you cannot change this property in unity the line renderer should be the only renderer on the game object you should not have more than one line renderer, renderer for the game object okay i'll delete it next we'll move to the trailer renderer render okay please i'm very really i'm giving I'm, I'm apologizing for my speech because my words may not be clear so please bear with us bear with me okay okay i used the trailer renderer in my introduction scene okay, i will show you where i have used that okay. you can see this is trial renderer okay you you can also note that the the plane of the render trial renderer also update according to the camera angle okay this is also intentional you cannot change this property okay what is trial renderer the trial renderer is to is used to make trial behind the object in the scene as they move about okay okay the trial renderer is great for using behind the projectile that is if you want a a yellow that is bow and arrow if you are using a bow and arrow in your game okay the if the arrow has the trial and the back side of it it shows like it gives feeling to the player that the arrow is moving faster in the world unity world that is in game world okay the trial renderer uses uses the same algorithm as the line renderer okay i'll show you the option which are there for this okay <coughs> same as the line renderer trial renderer has the same property like cast shadows receive shadows material okay there are a few different property than the between the line renderer and the trial renderer that is time time indicates the length of the trailer measured in second okay starting width indicate as usual it indicates the starting width of the trial renderer and the ending without a trial renderer okay the color there are five colors default five colors in the trial renderer you cannot increase it okay the five colors indicates the five segments of the trial renderer okay if you change the color of the first color it will it will change to the change the color of the starting segment okay 
as you see you can see the fourth represent the changing of color at the ending segment of the trial render okay you can also adjust the opacity that is alpha value of the renderer okay what is the minimum vertex distance the distance minimum vertex distance represents the minimum distance between the arch point of the trailer okay the minimum vertex distance value determines how far the object that contains the trailer must move before a segment of the trailer is solidified the, the low value makes the segments of the trailer more increases what is if the minimum vertex distance value is very low the segments of the trailer will increase okay i will show this in practical i'm going to increase the minimum vertex distance and play the game now you can see there is only few segments few segments are there in this trailer if you decrease it you can see the increasing of the segments in the trailer you can see okay this is very processor intensive so please be very careful in using this option okay so always use very high value in the minimum vertex distance to achieve your desired effect okay it's may it's if you put a very low value in the minimum vertex distance it will affect the performance of the game okay where we can use this trailer renderer okay the trailer renderer can be used for a fast moving object in the game world okay we have to use the particle material system okay to be rendered for this trailer renderer okay and the trailer renderer must not in the trailer renderer will not emit in instantly instantly it takes few frames to be calculated to emit the trailer renderer okay the trailer renderer will also rotate along with the camera position this is intentionally you cannot change this property in the unity okay i will show you the file which i used to render this uh, trailer renderer that is the texture file so that you can get some idea about this I use gym to generate the textures and see okay okay I use a simple cube and I blur it over and over okay I saved it as a TGA okay I saved this as a TGA and the texture size must be power of 2 that is the texture size of the trailer renderer must be 8 into 8 or that is 8 this represent the width and this represent the height and 16 into 16 or 32 into 32 or 64 into 64 or 128 into 128 or 256 into 256 sorry uh, 512 into 512 so please try to use low resolution texture for the trailer renderer if you use high resolution texture your frame rate get the maybe you get affected by this okay please be careful with using the trailer renderer in your scene okay guys see you i'll teach you i'll meet you in next tutorial bye